Hi, everybody. It's Tina from Happy Mail. How are you? Hope you're having a good night or good morning or good day. <laughs> this is day 10 of Craft with Every Day in May, hosted by Jan's Crazy Life. All right, I'm going to explain these pages. I'm going to bring you in just a tad, just so you can get a little closer up. There we go. All right. We all know the Julie Nettings images. I have stamps in here. I colored them. This right here window, I printed. Everything else on this page is napkins. The background, everything. All right. There's polka dotted napkin right here. It's like looking at like the back of wallpaper. That's like behind her. Then over here, if you look, it's kind of close. It's hard to see. It kind of, it turned out a little dark than I wanted, but my concept's here, and I'll explain it. Right here, if you look very close, you can see there's a vase. It's very hard, I guess. Oh, maybe you can kind of see it. But it's supposed to be a vase here. It was on a napkin. It kind of faded in. So it was a lesson learned here. But you can see the palm tree here and the palm tree over here. One palm tree is inside the window. The other palm tree is outside the window. Here is supposed to be like a flower garden in front of the window as well as some flowers growing on top of the windows. And then you have two gals looking out at you. That is the project for today. So, you know, but yeah, I kind of, oh, you can kind of see, see the little circle here and here. That's where the vase is, is up in here, where that circle is in this one. And a little bit of it showing right here. Oh, and there's wood grain going along the side. So it looks like you see the outside of the building. It's hard to tell right there. You see the wood. That's the outside of the building, outside the window. Side, yeah, it's kind of got hard, but yeah, I has had this. Well, you can see it right here. See right here, this wood, looking dark right here. That's supposed to be on. Looks like the brick wall on the outside of the building. So you kind of see the the side of the building, and they're just standing in two rooms. They're supposed to be at a gala, a gala. There we go, gala. But right here, you can see there's a little image of uh, a table as well. They're kind of be supposed to be standing in front of because there's a image there too. So maybe when it dries a little, because it's kind of still damp a little. So maybe once it dries better, and they may pop. But yeah, that's my piece for today. Um, May tenth, craft every day in May, day ten. So I thought it turned out pretty cool looking. So please go over and check out all the wonderful rest of the ladies and thank Jan for hosting this. It's been fun. I'm in I'm experiencing a lot of different aspects of my book. And due to the fact we are 10 days in, I'm gonna start from the beginning just in case um somebody just happened to show up today and they haven't seen the 10 days prior. I saw that was a good time. Because then I'll do it again in 10 more days. And then 30 plus one. So the first is the cover. This is the cover. It kind of got dirty. Look at how much it's picked up stuff. And that, you know what? That's all right with me. It says, what does it say? Believe in yourself. Be impossible to forget. This is the cover. Look at the back. It's totally looking like a mixed media journal. Because look at I got paint on it. And that's okay. I think it just added character to it. So... This is the first pages I did on May 2nd, or actually the cover was May 1st. My first additional, first project was the cover, May 1st. I haven't dated it. I've been dating them as I do them. This is May 2nd. I was just kind of toying with what I was going to do. Use some images I had. That was a uh, card. Butterflies. Got a unicorn. Over here. I got I colored this flower image and I just put this teapot. I had this image I printed. I used some stuff that I had on my table. Put this on not who you not all who want wanted 
are are lot not all who are wan wander wandered wander are lost. Not all that wander are lost. So I got that there. Then that this is May second. May third, I colored these images. The background I uh, watercolored. Put some stamp images. I had I, I drew this tree as this puts in. And then it says, you have this, okay, I can't read upside down, guys, I'm sorry. You have this one life, how do you want to spend it? Apologize, regretting, questioning, hating yourself, dieting, running after people who don't see you. Be brave, believe in yourself, do what, what feels good. Take risks, you have this one life, make yourself proud. And then on this side it says, sometimes there are things in our lives that aren't meant to stay. Sometimes the changes we don't want are the changes we need to grow. So that is May 3rd. May 4th, I just, this is a napkin behind here. The endings images here are coloring pages I did, and I just made squares and circles. This I colored, it says, I achieve, I achieve great things have an open mind and I just colored up oh I'm sorry I hit the camera and I added these dots or this bling in here that is May 4th May 5th <laughs> was bingo okay uh, be, I'm not gonna t take these off or I should I'll show you guys just in case if you wanna watch what the bingo cards I'll not tell you that in a second but let me take out the Oh, don't rip, don't rip, don't rip, don't rip. I hate that one. Things just don't want to go away, guys. They're all like, what? <laughs> all right. All right. I printed all these bingo cards out. That's the last of my colored ink, guys. It's right here, I swear. <laughs> says, I can't wait. I can't wait. Please let me win. Play bingo night. I can't wait. I can't wait to play bingo. Bingo night with Live to Learn Dana. May 5th, May 5th, 18, 2018. Please let me win. Guess what, guys? I won twice. I've never won bingo in 46 years, so I was so stoked. So I kept my cards. <laughs> this is probably the only pa page in here I actually kind of journaled. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, this I saw mixed media journals or journals that draw and then they write. This is probably the only one I've actually did that on. I kind of just color things. All right, that was May 5th. May 6th is I received these beautiful stamp images and I colored them and then I worked the background into them. And this says, a person's action speaks the truth. You're going to come across people in your life who will all say all the right words at the right times but in the end it's always their actions you should judge them by so pay attention to what people do their actions will tell you everything you need to know May 6th and the background on this is it's painted and it, it's I did a base paint and then I took a dry brush paint and I dry brushed the green the brown and the white and this one, it was flat paint blue, and I dry brushed the green as well as the white, and I just kind of blended in the page images. And then I just took some white paint and dusted these stickers from the Dollar Tree that were butterflies and, and uh, hummingbird as well as these flowers. That was May 6th. May 7th was play date. <laughs> I should call this play date. All right. May 6th, 7th, I mean. I received a nice grip of the dress carry-ons as well as the texture paste in the mat. So what I did is I did just so this page. I and some beautiful stencils as well. And I put the stencil down, and I used the paste here, here and here. And I tried different forms of using the crayons. So that's what this is about. And this is also with the crayons here. And this is using a paintbrush as like watercoloring with them. This was me smudging. 
This black is from the next page. It kind of ran over and I just left it. Hey, it's a, it's a mixed meter journal. And the flower, or the flower, the bird, I just colored just to add in there. And I did do some stenciling and removed it with alcohol. Rubbing alcohol. That's how I did these spots here. That was May 7th. May 8th was I did a paint pour in my book. And then I sat and stared at it going, what am I going to do now? This is the paint pour in the background. So I found these two images on the internet, on Google, and I printed them. I thought, okay, I just thought it would fit, it fit perfect with it, with the images. And then I just did some box stencils and some circles and some dots. And that was May 8th. May 9th was Steampunk. How I did this one was I painted black first and then I brought in the silver, the bronze, and a, it was like a rose gold. And I did the background that way. And then I brought in, I printed these pictures and I glued them in. And then I also brought in the color of the bronze, the gold, the rose gold, and a little bit of black into the picture so I bl more, blended it a little bit more in. And then on this one I used some buttons. These are all buttons right here. And I blacked them and I add some gold and bronze or yeah bronze and silver to them to make them look more uh, oldish I guess. This is a concho that was pure silver looking. I blacked it, added some silver, some bronze, and some rose gold. Just the same up here. I just black, I colored them black and I just kind of lightly went over with bronze or gold or rose gold, one or the other. I may have did all three. These are just some little earrings I had that I think Kathy gave them to me. I thought they just added a little offset. Matter of fact, I have to put one of these back. It fell off. It's probably right here. Is where it was. My glue gun not on. Nope. To do that one with my glue gun. And now we're back to today's. So day ten. So that was the first ten days. And then, like I said, I'll go back when I hit another ten days. So you, just in case you come back on this video, and you, it's the first time you've seen it, but now you saw the ten days prior. So we'll see how what. Tomorrow brings. I already have Sundays planned out or Saturdays because I did it ahead of time. It's a paint pour, so I did it ahead. But you guys can't see that until I do it. So I will see you guys tomorrow. Like I said, please go watch all the other wonderful ladies. We got some very talented ladies in this group. There's like 36 ladies, I think, and I'm trying to catch them all. So have a good day, everybody. And you know what? Be happy, be safe, and be crafty. And go check out these wonderful ladies. And thank you, Jan. Bye.